Well, you know, uh, it starts from uh, the fact that um, I would say today the fragmentation exists. We have uh, for IoT uh, roughly 10% of the objects that are connected, uh, which are in fact connected to um, a secure public network. So we have, uh, due to the uh, introduction of 5G technologies, uh, we, we have uh, an incredible opportunity no? because we will uh, we have uh, in front of us we have all the, the the new objects and we have all the these objects that today are not connected to a public network that are, that are today uh, uh, potentially connected. Um, we also have uh, a beautiful opportunity. Uh, I speak for myself because I, I think we we can leverage. Uh, 30 years of uh, experience in, the, in, that, um, in that industry where we, we can bring um, true privacy protected solutions. So uh, that's something we have been uh, very keen uh, in implementing in all these uh, years. And I think we can, uh, we can do that. So I believe that we have, of course, the challenges. Challenges are the, at the same level than the opportunities. They are very important. Uh, but I believe that um, more than ever today, uh, the, the TCA work is important, uh, and particularly to bring uh, uh, an ecosystem which is secure, an ecosystem which is not biased, an ecosystem where, which is really uh, exploiting the, uh, the, the 30 years of experience we have had. Well, uh, it's more devices, a variety of devices. It's uh, more network operators. We have a lot of uh, MVNOs, which are operators that are specialized in, uh, in uh, operating uh, certain uh, solutions. Uh, we also have more use cases that could be uh, relevant and also bring a lot of efficiency. So uh, that's, uh, that's where we are going to. Uh, so, as I said, the, uh, the, this industry has created a very, uh, probably the, the largest, the, the, the most secure interoperable uh, ecosystem. And this is really uh, where, where, where we are going, uh, we, we are heading for. So I believe that uh, this industry will go more than, more than ever in a combination of uh, uh, secure IPs. Secure IP could be hardware, software. Uh, experience, certification path, um, and this is today unchallenged. This is something which is absolutely, absolutely unique, and uh, we will go in that direction. And uh, the TCA stakeholders uh, are more needed to, to be the architects of uh, the solution within that ecosystem. Well, yeah, of course, we have the, uh, the benefits of participating uh, in that uh, association. Uh, we have the uh, unvaluable experience uh, of all, as I said, this 30 years of experience, um, which is uh, also, uh, uh, we, we have the um, market monitoring data, which is something where we have access to the information, the true information from uh, uh, 80% of the, uh, of the market share from the, from the players that are participating. Um, but this is also uh, the possibility for the, the participants to, uh, to work uh, in working groups, trying to, uh, to, to, to fill some gaps uh, for that we are, that have been created in the, uh, of course, in the, in the, in the growth of the opportunities that we are talking uh, about. So uh, what is important, we are, we are not working on specification for specification. We are, we are, we are working on um, elements that are very concrete, no? so, and particularly uh, in, in, in those uh, last months, we are working more and more on the interoperability issue. So that this is very concrete. This is something which is very important. Uh, in order to, um, uh, I mean, to protect the investments of all the stakeholders. Uh, 
Um, well, to, today we are, we are happy because we have, uh, there are a lot of eSIMs in the market. So that's, uh, that's something which is uh, a, good, a good indication. But it, it's only uh, from a limited number of players. No? So we had the uh, flagship uh, telephones from different, uh, the, the, the top players. And, and of course, uh, some very interesting uh, uh, machine to machine uh, deployments. But um, uh, in fact, uh, we, 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 we are about with the 5G and what I explained about the, all this variety to, to have um, a lot of players that are uh, in fact having more complex use cases. And of course, these more complex use cases will, will just reveal some uh, interoperability issue. So we have to work a lot in order to, uh, to try to, uh, to, to, to anticipate those issues uh, make a lot of interoperability uh, testing, um, and this is uh, this is important because um, we don't want to have uh, to penalize the early adopters, you know, the ones that that will adopt the technology for uh, for, uh, uh, for 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 their solutions, and we want we want them and all their uh, initiatives to be protected, and that's why we are very keen on the interoperability. Well, uh, we have uh, this explained that uh, in the um, in the information we released during the last uh, Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. So um, the operators will have um, access to a pool of uh, expert knowledge, skilled resources, uh, testing tools, uh, and the largest library of uh, eSIM enabled devices of the industry. And this will help them to, to test their uh, their profiles, and uh, of course, uh, um, I mean, discover if there is, there are some issues, discover them on time, and uh, again for for the for the benefit of all the participants.